Hello everyone, my name is Toma Bonchu from tomabonchu.com. Today I'm going to edit this photo in black and white in a much more creative way than a simple conversion. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we need to get rid of this uh, touristic markings of the route with uh, just a simple clone tool by using the clone tool. I do not have to work non-destructively because it's a simple thing to remove but if you want to work in a non-destructive way with the clone tool you're doing something like this you create a new layer and you set your clone tool to current and below and not current layer but for this case I don't I don't need this this method so I'm going to work on the base layer I'm holding down the alt key to sample to start uh, to to set the start sample point and then with an opacity of 100% I'm simply removing uh this markings. Okay. Now the second thing that you have to do is to make the first black and white conversion and I'm going to use this black and white adjustment layer for this and use the channels you can use the channels a little bit but you can also click on this hand and go exactly where you want and drag from left to right and what this does is identifies which colors are uh, in the area that you placed your cursor and then it modifies it so I'm happy with this result I may try to make the leaves a little bit brighter but it will not help if help me very much the leaves become much more visible when dragged to the left so I'm going to leave it that way okay so this is my initial conversion and I'm going to create a stamp of all this by holding control alt shift E and I've created a, a new layer that has all these modifications in it now I'm going to duplicate this layer control J okay and on this new layer I'm going to apply a filter of blur and motion blur now the motion blur will be set as an in an angle of 90 degrees as you can see this is the the direction and the distance it's uh, it's up to you and it also depends on the size of the um, of the image now this kind of effect works if the trees are um, pretty much straight if you have elements that are not um, that are much more curved uh, the effect will not have um, the same intensity or it, will, or it will not look that that interesting so I'm increasing the distance here but I don't want to go too much because I want to preserve a little bit from the uh, from the forest behind I want the viewer to guess that behind this tree is another forest so uh, a distance in a distance in pixels of 214 for this image for this situation as I said this distance can uh, it can be very different depending on what your purpose is and uh, the, the image size hit OK and I'm going to create a mask for this for this layer and I'm going to paint in this mask um, because I want this tree with the leaves to be to be seen now hitting the B shortcut for the brush with 100% uh, opacity I'm using a soft brush and first of all let's paint very loosely to uh, to see the tree 
and then we're going to come back and refine the edges but for now we're just we're just revealing uh, revealing the tree okay now I'm going to switch and paint with white and the mask and lower the brush dimension and what I'm doing is making sure that the tree looks okay and the other elements are um, are seen as they look after applying the motion blur now um, I have another image made with the same technique where uh, the leaves are seen much more clearly and for for that image I had to uh, go and um, create a mask almost of a, on every leaf but for this kind of situation for this situation I'm only going to set my brush opacity to let's say 20% and just brush it away slowly I don't need to be extremely exact because first of all the image is not that sharp and it will not uh, and and the leaves are not that uh, are not that different if you're going to <coughs> If you're going to um, make this effect on a color image, then you you may want to uh, create a mask for uh, for every leaf because uh, it's seen the contrast is much bigger and uh, the result will be visible. But for me, it's okay like this. Now let's let's see what we can do over here, down here. I want with an opacity of 10% I want uh, some of um, some of the, the foreground to be uh, to be seen just a little bit over here and over here because I want people to kind of guess what's behind uh, what's behind this tree okay so this is the um, the conversion with this uh, this motion blur effect now I want to further enhance uh, this tree and the way I'm going to do it is first of all apply a brightness and increase the overall brightness of the image and afterward after that I'm going to use brightness again and lower the brightness and increase the contrast for the entire image and now with a with a soft brush with 100 percent opacity i'm going to paint in this region and then i'm going to reintegrate this 10 percent opacity and I'm, I'm, I'm also going to repeat this effect again the brightness decrease the brightness increase the contrast and again reintegrate this into the photo make sure you don't have strong vignetting on some corners in this area it works because the forest is already uh, dark but in this area it didn't, uh, it didn't work okay now I'm going to create another stamp <coughs> control alt shift E and I'm going to um, set the blending mode to linear light for this one and go to filter other high pass now I'm, I'm doing this to to make the sharpen on the image so let's see radius of 0 0.2 pixels let's see a one how it looks like I think it looks much much better hit OK 
uh, I'm going to create a mask and I'm going to create it directly black holding down the old key and I want to do this because I don't want this layer to be seen anywhere so now I'm painting with white and decide where I want this uh, the effect to be uh, to be visible and what I'm doing is painting where I know that there is detail okay and in the end I will apply curves to further increase the contrast okay so the uh, initial black and white conversion was something like this which is not is not something that appealing but applying this motion blur effect and this uh, separation uh, from affecting the light in different areas the tree pops up pop some more uh, and it becomes uh, a much more interesting uh, image to to watch now um, if you like this video and the other videos uh, from this channel feel free to share this channel or subscribe to it and um, until next time keep on photographing it's the only way that you can get better thanks for watching and bye bye